what's up guys welcome back to the channel so in this video I want to go over some very basic clinch defense tips because I just ran into a division 16 player and I happened to get him up against the cage in the single underhook and I was just landing knees at will man I don't know if he knew how to um, get out of that position but that position is pretty easy to get out of and I just want that knowledge to be out there so I'm gonna start right off with that so we're gonna be uh, Carmen Usman here I'm gonna record two knees and then how I want to get out of this is all I want to do is as soon as I see him throwing those knees I want to press up on the left stick so it's up on the left stick and Here's a tip, you cannot be holding uh, a bicep control here, and that's R2. So you can't be holding R2, watch, I'm just going to play it, and I'm going to try to um, hold R2 and up on the left stick, and watch what happens. I'm holding up on the left stick while holding R2, and I can't get out of this. And I believe that's what that guy was doing. I don't know, I was in the fight. Maybe I wasn't really paying attention, but I just know he was eating his knees. And, you know, that's a um, Division 16 player. He should have known how to get out of that position, at least. Uh, that's my opinion. Nothing, you know, against him, but I'm just saying this is something that, that everybody should know, I guess. So, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to play him throwing the knees and I'm just going to hold up on the left stick here. So. Boom, I'm out. So let's go back in to single under. I got to re record him throwing the knees. And then I'm going to hit the playback. And then just up on the left stick and I'm out. That's all you gotta do, but just remember you cannot be holding R2. You don't have to hold uh, R2 or L2. It's just it's up on the left stick, and that works for the head and knees as well. Um, if your opponent's throwing punches, you have to go towards the open side. So let's go over that real quick. So let's just have him throw some punches. And you can actually stop this with the R2. You can block these. But that's pretty obvious. But let's just... You know, boom, I'm out. So that's just towards the open side. That would be down. And obviously, cage position depends on which way you... Which way you're going to go. So let's be Carter Usman again. Clinch. So if he's if he's gonna knee you, you want to go towards the underhook that he has. Boom, just like that. So all right, let's move on to the next thing. And I've seen a lot of people ask how to do this, and that's this right here. Boom. Now you have reversed the clinch on them. So, so this works when your opponent has you in the single collar. You cannot do this when they have the Muay Thai clinch. See how uh, Karma Usman's both hands are on my neck? I cannot. I can punch him, but I cannot reverse the clinch on him when he has the Muay Thai clinch. But if he just has a single collar, just one hand on my head, I can reverse the clinch on him. Boom. Pryoxis uses this technique. I've seen Marshall Mine use it because from here, you know, you can you can pretty much break away, you know, and then you're back to striking. And the, that's gonna be the video, guys. Pretty much. I just wanted to show you guys those. Oh wait, I didn't tell you guys how to do that, did I? What an idiot I am. So how to do this 
and I cannot be in the clinch. So, he clinches me. All I'm going to do is hit my clinch. Boom. And that's R1 and square and your jab button. So, Karma Usman is going to clinch me and then Gilbert Burns, R1, jab. You don't even have to hold it. And then you're in, you know, you can reverse the clinch on them. I suggest you try doing this uh, very quick because most people will get you clinched and they'll try to throw knees right away. So if you're going to try to reverse the clinch on them, you want to do it right as soon as they clinch you. Boom. And then you can, you know, control them or just break out. However, whatever you want to do, whatever your, your strategy may be, that's what you want to do. So... Now, since I've explained that, that is going to be the video. I'm sorry about that, guys. I, uh, kind of rushed myself, but I hope this helps somebody. I know this is a tutorial that's kind of late in the game, but I figured I would put that out there because, man, you don't want to get beat by this, you know? You don't want to get beat by, you know, a guy throwing these because people will take advantage, you know? Like, these needs will rack up some body damage, like, really quick, you, you know, just, uh, left ticking down or left ticking up, whatever, the underhook, you know, you want to go towards that underhook. And, uh, so just, and, uh, you can't be holding R2, you don't have to hold, you know, L2, you, you just left tick down or towards the underhook. So, uh, yeah, guys, like I said, I really hope this helped somebody. And uh, if it did, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And if you'd like to see more, um, just let me know in the comments. And I will try to get out anything that I can help you guys with. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.